This is one of the hotels I stayed in Chiang Mai and I did not like it. It was one of the worst hotels I stayed. The hotel is very outdated. The pictures looked fine. Even uh, when you look at it right now, it doesn't look as bad, but it's so outdated because there are so many nice hotels in Chiang Mai. So a hotel like this, it really a standout. It was outdated. The location wasn't that great. There's not much going on around it and it's not close to the old town. So I don't recommend that hotel. That's a restaurant, it's a vegan restaurant. I went here in Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai, there's a two hours difference between them with the bus, with more than two hours. It's a vegan restaurant. The food was very, very good. Uh, the owner is a lady, she's from Europe. Very nice lady and the menu is very interesting. I had the vegan veggie burger and it was fantastic. And it's right in the middle of Chiang Rai, close to the temples. That was one of the temples across from the restaurant. This is a market was going on. That's also walking distance from the from that vegan restaurant. And this is a flower festival that was going on in Chiang Rai, in the middle of Chiang Rai. And they had this festival for over a month and it was free. It was nice. It was an if if you have you are there and you have nothing else to do, it was nice to see it. It was a lot of flowers. And it was free, but they were checking the vaccine card in order to enter. And this is a, one of the night food markets in Chiang Rai. All over Thailand, in every city you go, they have this kind of night market. Um, they have a big one in Chiang Rai. And this one was in Chiang Rai. It wasn't as big as the one in Chiang, Chiang Mai, but it was decent. They have really good food. Uh, some vendors, they sell um, clothing which are mainly made in Thailand. So if you wanna buy authentic things, you can find them at these markets, but you have to negotiate. The prices are not the final price, whatever you see. <laughs> 